welcome to the army of the Pikachus. They will seep into your soul. Hey guys, I'm doing a, a, a top 10 list, top 5 list every week. Each one's going to be different, obscure things. The, the reason why I'm doing a European psychological thriller because there's a film on this list that needs to be watched. So uh, it's the reason why I'm doing this list. So strap in, wild time. So each film is going to be different. We all know what a psychological thriller is. A home invasion, serial killers, mental health disorders, blah de blah We know. And I've chosen five films, each different. So hopefully you enjoy. And I hopefully I strongly recommend all of them. I have put them in the ranking order. But I hope you enjoy them all. And like I said, I highly recommend. So please, please watch and let me know what you think. Right? In fifth place was recommended to me because I needed to find a film that kind of matched the criteria of uh, like a murder mystery who done it, and this was recommended to me. It's a, a film called Julia's Eyes, and it's from the year 2010. It's a Spanish film. All these films are dubbed, by the way, subtitles. But I think two or three. I think this film included there is an English dub. So if you don't like your subtitles, but I do. There is that option. Well, this is the plus of this film is this is Julia. She um, she suffers with a degenerative eye disorder, and so does her twin sister. So that means that they're going blind. You know, there's no way about it. They're going blind. And um, at the beginning of the film, you learn that her sister's basically worse or off. She's actually gone full blind. I think you don't really know. You don't see it from her perspective, like you do with Julia. Like sometimes her vision goes really dark and like goes blind and stuff. But you don't see it from her sister's point of view. But yeah, you're led to believe she killed herself because she couldn't handle becoming blind, which I could I can't imagine really. Um, and unfortunately, people do. People with strong minds, they carry on and become uh, amazing people to be able to do what they do. Anyway, but Julia, straight away, she's like, my sister won't kill herself. So, you know, obviously the family member disproves, so she goes on the offence, she turns into the detective, and it just unravels from there. It's a good film to keep you on your toes. The reason why it's so low on my list is because it's on for two hours, and it feels like it's on for two hours, if you catch my drift. Uh, I personally think you could show 20 to 30 minutes of this film and it would make it better. But I understand like uh, people's directions and people's tastes. People might actually like it being this length. So each their own. But the reason why it is on last of my list is because of that reason. Now, fourth is a film called High Tension. And that's a French film Yep, from 2003. Now, I thought this was going to be on fifth just because of the ending. Um... But, it's fourth. Basically what it's about is, at the beginning of the film, before the credits roll, uh, you see a truck. Now you think, think Jeepers Creepers, right? If you've seen that film. A rusty old truck. It's it's, it's not like the colour of Jeepers Creepers, it's like a blue colour. And um, the the driver, the serial killer, well you, you guess it straight away, he's pleasuring himself with a decapitated young woman's head. Who he throws out the um, window and drives off. So straight away you're like, okay, this is going to be a wild ride. Oh yeah. Anyway, hang on one second. Got to have a beer. Drives off. Then it cuts to her and her best mate. Who the best mate's driving the car. They're going to the best mate's uh, family home, and it's a farm. And uh, yeah, they get uh, it start. Like with French films, there's like unnecessary sexual scenes which I don't really like in my films, but for some reason the French love it. Um, yeah, so they, they go, they're at the house, the farmhouse, and then this serial killer turns up in his home invasion film for the better part of it. Uh, the gore is amazing for the roof. That's why I like the film. The gore is great, and I do love my great my gore films, and. Um, one of the first kills. It makes no sense, but the head just goes woof, flying off. Great stuff. And then um, the reason why it's fourth, the reason why it may have been five, is the ending. Now I'm not going to spoil you. There's no point in me spoiling it, but you will be like, what? As in, like at first you're like, you'll be like, oh wow, that's really clever. I didn't think about that. And then as soon as you think about it, it makes no sense. So, it's four from my list. 
I do recommend it if you like that kind of fit, like a home invasion film, a bit of gore. It's a good film for that. Just pay no attention to the ending. But all of these films, just let me know um, what you think down below. And in third place is Raw. It's a 2016 film, and it's by Julia. I'm not going to pronounce the second. I'm terrible with the uh, enunciations and pronouncing and that. Um, good film. It is a good film. And getting to a little bit like Julia's always been alongside. Could have shared some here and there, but it's not as bad as that. Um, it's about two sisters. Well, it's mainly about her. She's the main character. And at the beginning of the film, you learn her and her family are strong vegans, right? And she's going, she's set off. They're going, she's gone to veterinary uh, college, which apparently is a thing. And it's like a lot, it's kind of like a university in America, you know, and the, all the parties and the initiations and the uh, what they're called, like houses and what they, you know, what they're called. Um, yeah, so it's like, it's like that. It's like a fun coming of age film. And then, the uh, like for the newbies, you know, to bring them in initiation, that kind of thing. They make them into rabbit liver, which I guess it's a bit odd, but <laughs> there's a lot worse. Like, you know, like standing upside down drinking about six points um and she refuses because she's vegan and her sister's there sorry and uh she's in the year above so she's kind of like she's kind of like the eat girl kind of everyone seems to know her and she basically makes a the rabbit liver and then things unravel from there is it the veterinary college is it is it her is some else is going on just watch it Trust me, you won't be, uh, it's not a great, look, at first, I thought there was going to be animal cruelty in it, but there's not. So, that's just a, a nice little thing to say. If you're in, there's no animal cruelty in it, even if you think, look, at first I thought there was, but there actually wasn't. I looked into it. So, yeah, no animal cruelty. It's a good film, a good coming of age film as well. Because, like, you know, she's a young teen, I'd say she's probably, like, in the 16 to 18 mark you know it's a it's a good coming about you know it's a good film it is a good film and it's third on my list so it is a good film now the set in second place is the film that the reason why i'm making this list right uh, last week i went on netflix it was like three o'clock in the morning i couldn't sleep it was hot it was really hot and i was just flicking through netflix you know you know what it is and then i come across this film here yeah, and i'm but to the platform now it's a spanish film and it is from 2019 last year is really fresh now come across it read the synopsis and was like wow that sounds banging it's right up my alley right and then i seen that it was uh spanish and it was dubbed and i was a bit like mm, it's three o'clock in the morning did i really want to put it on and my eyes didn't leave the screen it was amazing film properly strongly recommend this film it needs a lot of viewing it's so underrated i never even heard of it and i should have heard about it that's what i'm saying like, i've got people on that i subscribe to on youtube who do like this kind of stuff like, like top horrors and top new films blah, blah blah and this just wasn't on it but damn is it a good film basically the whole premise of the whole film is shit rolls down Okay, you know where it is, like the top dogs, the bosses, they poo on the next boss, they poo on the workers, they poo on the... You know what I'm saying, you know you know what it is. And um, it's just that in a nutshell. Basically, imagine a living room, but it sounds like it's a living room, an average one. Um, and there's like a big square hole in the middle, and the, there's like... I'm not going to tell you how many um, floors there are, but let's say 100, 100 floors, right? And... That platform there on the, on the screen goes from the top all the way to the bottom and it's full of food from the top. It's perfectly cooked, pristine, pristine food from the top chefs and they've got everything like snails, like, you know, the fancy stuff and the cakes. <coughs> and, um, and like, yeah, so floor one, they get, to, they get their pick, they get their fill. Every floor gets two minutes to eat. And, uh, like you imagine the food depletes as it goes down as it goes down so like it's a bit of a doggy dog world and like basically what happens is i think it's every month please correct me if i'm wrong every month they the same two people in the room or if one of them dies or something happens they replace them but you know it's the same people uh say if you're on 
floor three after a month they put gas in the room knock you out and then they put you on another floor so you could be on like number 150 you know what i mean so like it is really good you've got to watch this film i strongly do recommend it um it just makes you think what would you do would you be like that everyone thinks that you wouldn't do some of the actions that some of the people are doing in this film but after say like a month of not eating what would you do that's that's well I'll kind of like finish on with that so like definitely watch the platform banging film and at uh, number one is one of my favorite films of all time it took me a while to even realize this film existed and when i've heard it existed i thought because i've read a review and somebody said um oh it's torture porn so like saw hostile kind of thing and that threw me off because i just like watched quite a few you know like sores and hostels and you get burnt out from them so i put it off and then i thought you know what let's have a look Let, let's watch it right and i swear this film touched me on so many levels like there's only a few films that get to me that's why there's two right there's this film and uh grave of the fireflies a studio ghibli film so let's just let me just announce it right it is martyrs to me it's a perfect film i love this film it, it hits all the right notes for me it um makes you think it makes you question so much stuff um it's just brilliant basically the synopsis is the plot basically these two girls well let's the beginning this girl here the uh the one on the right the more like, oriental looking one she um at the beginning she is about 10 11 and she is captured and tied to a chair and she's in like pretty like you know revealing uh underwear put it that way and you think like oh, okay well this film started off a uh, dodger but um she escapes she escapes and you're like okay cool and he tells you and then he tells you that they go to an orphanage or she goes to an orphanage and you you meet these as young girls as like about like 12 13 and you realize that you, well, you come to see that the oriental looking girl i can't remember i think her name is Amy, um she's troubled she ptsd from um what happened to her you don't fully um know what happened to her and they keep it secret and she's haunted by probably the scariest thing on, i've ever seen uh yeah so like that's the first half. well that's not just the first half of the film right um it is a film of two halves so uh the beginning of the film i think just still dawn you know how it starts off like about two grimoires and ends up with vampires um so the first half of this film Oriental girl, uh, home invades, so you're following her, thinking, okay, maybe she's a bit, like, you know, like, she's getting it wrong in her head, but like, she's adamant, this family did this stuff to her, so she, home invades, right, now you're thinking, like, the family, there's, like, a mom and a dad, and there's, like, a son and a daughter, and the son and daughter is, like, teenage years, like, young teenagers, so you kind of think, like, well, how could they be involved? I'll leave that part right there second part of the film is about this girl here who she becomes the main protagonist and um she i don't know oh, i don't even know how to really explain it without even think think kind of sore think kind of sore basically she like the second half of the film turns into sore but it's not torture porn nothing like that it is just on another level and the ending to this film if that you don't question your beliefs or anything like that you're just not that into films but yeah i've had a couple of mixed reviews and well i'll tell everyone to watch it and either people agree with me and people are just like ah oh, no it was a bit torture porn that kind of thing but i think it's how how you look at life and how you uh look at mental illness and how you uh look into films and stuff like that so i hope these are all five films that i strongly recommend you watch if you're into the psychological thrillers hopefully you've not heard of these films before and i was able to tell you about them and that's would be great that's kind of what i did the video for because a lot of european films because like we're england or america we just don't we just don't watch them because we don't speak in you know it's the average like there's a lot of the reason why we don't watch them or 
a lot of people I know, a lot of my friends, my mum and dad, and blah blah blah, is because it's not in English and they don't like reading subtitles. It's a given. Anyway, like I said, top five European psychological thrillers. I hope you take my advice and watch them and let me know if you actually watch all five. I'd love you to watch all five of these films and make your own list up. Where would you put these films? I would love that. That's the real reason. Like, I'm not doing this for subscribers or anything like that. I want to do, I, that's the reason why I want to do that. Do this. I want to hear your, where would you put this in your list? Because obviously we're not all going to uh, agree on things. You might even hate all of these films. You might absolutely love them. Anyway guys, Termos is sign off and I really hope you watch them. See you later.